Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Shop My Stash video for you. So it's been a couple of weeks, I've been using the products in this basket. So I'm gonna go through the products, we're gonna talk about them a little bit, I'm gonna put them away, and then we're gonna go through the choosing process again. Um, so let's dive right in. So this time around, I had two, two sort of main eyeshadow palettes in the basket and then I had the small one. So I chose the Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette this time around. Um, I bought this palette a couple years ago. I'm trying to remember. Either way, I bought this a while ago. I got it on sale. I probably would have never bought this palette full price, but I didn't really need this, let's be honest. But it is a really nice sort of accent palette. It's got all metallic colors in there. Um, there's some really fun um, jewel tones that I really enjoyed uh, playing with. You know, these fun sort of blues, purples, teals. I had a lot of fun using those. Um, and then on the other side, there's sort of the more... Um, natural, more um, more like neutral tone type colors. So I really enjoyed working with those as well. I've got on my lid today the color um, Maiden right here. It's sort of a champagne color. I really enjoyed this. I got a lot of different looks out of this palette. So it was definitely a win. Um, and I paired it with the Morphe palette that we got in last month's Boxy Lux. So those two together were great. I had never used a Morphe palette before. Um, I did enjoy this. I, I didn't find the metallics to be anything to get excited about. I really felt they were pretty lackluster and it didn't really seem to matter whether I used, I have eyeshadow all over my fingers. I was like, why do my fingers feel like that? Um, as I'm just like grinding it into my hand. Um, the metallics in here, it didn't seem to matter if I used my fingers, uh, a wet brush, a dry brush. They really went on very just kind of meh. So I was really happy to have the mattes in this palette. I think the mattes performed really well and it paired really well with this one because I had the beautiful metallics in that palette. Um, and then I had also thrown in my little MAC self-made quad. This is um, this was my wedding makeup. So I threw that in for this pink color right here. I wanted a cool tone transition. I was glad that I had that as well because the transitions in the Morphe palette are very warm, pretty much all of them. So I really enjoyed that. I had no regrets there. Um, I had also included the new Cover Effects face palette. This is the Perfector face palette. I had gotten this in as well in the Boxy Lux for the month of March. I really enjoyed that. I used it every single day. I love the highlights. Um, I love the contour. I have the contour and the highlights and the blush on today. I think they perform really, really well. Very high quality. Um, I did also have the Butter Bronzer. I did use this on my more warm tone days and I used the contour in the Cover FX palette as a bronzer on my more cool tone days. So that was a really nice color combo or that was a really nice sort of set of options. And then for my warm tone blush, I had the Pixie by Petra in Beach Rose. So this was really nice to have as well. So I enjoyed all of those. Um, I never once used this <laughs> purple eyeshadow that I've been trying to use up. I think I've been focusing on it so hard that I just needed a break and that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, and the last face product that I had in there was the um, Pretty Vulgar uh, Shimmering Swan Glow Up Highlighter. This is broken. I got it in a boxy charm. I've been trying to use it up. And to be honest, I didn't use that either because the um, sort of more pinky highlight in the Cover Effects palette was essentially the same color. So I found I really just reached for this. I could have just included that and not included any more highlights. It just really wasn't necessary. Um, so as far as lip colors, I always enjoy my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lips. Um, I had Self Starter and Inspirer <laughs> in the basket. Actually, this was the second time around that I had these two colors and I still enjoyed them. Um, I mentioned in my last Shop My Stash video that I hadn't used this Tardis lip paint in Instafamous. So I actually put that on over the um, 
Maybelline Inspirer. I liked the color combination. I think it looked really beautiful. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll have that linked below, but do so because that's where you're going to see the looks that I create with using these products throughout the two week period. Um, so I posted a picture with this color combo. Actually, Maybelline liked it, which was like such a moment for me. Um, and I liked the way it looked. However, I found the liquid lipstick started to break down with this over top of it. So I think the next time I use this, I'm going to try it over just a regular, like what I have on, like a cream formula and see if I like that better. Um, it may also work better over like a drier liquid lipstick formula. These ones tend to be a little bit more tacky, which is one of the reasons I like them. A lot of people don't like that, but I like it that it doesn't fully dry down dry. Um, I just find it so much more comfortable on the lips, but this might work better on a drier formula. So I'll have to experiment a little bit more with that. I had also included my Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks in Pretty Social, which is just like a soft nude and nine to five, which is the color that I have on today. It's like a hot pink. Um, I enjoyed both of those. They have a beautiful formula. If you haven't tried the Be Legendary lipsticks, I highly recommend them. They're very comfortable to wear. I have to remind myself not to rub my lips together because it's not lip balm, but it feels like lip balm. Um, on that same vein, I had also included the Becca lipstick in taupe which we had gotten in the boxy lux as well and i really enjoy that formula um the color is a little bit of a dark for it's a little bit dark for me to wear as a nude i have to wear it as more of a like a darker kind of cool toned kind of a look um, i would be interested in finding like my perfect nude in this line because i really enjoy that formula um, I had also included a couple of Urban Decay lipsticks. I had Hitchhike, which is almost like a terracotta color. And then I had Bittersweet, which is a little bit more of a fun sort of springy purple color. I enjoyed both of those, used them both. Um, and I had also included the Trustique uh, Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Florence Fig. I really enjoy these. They're so easy to wear. They wear really well. They're pretty comfortable for a matte formula. I really enjoy that. Um, so I did get a lot of use out of that as well. The one product that I didn't use, or I don't think I used, I don't remember using this anyway, was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Perla. Um, I just didn't wear it. I'll, I'm just not going to lie. There's no reason. I just didn't wear it. It kind of got lost in the basket. It's so tiny. <laughs> So that was all that I had in my basket for this rotation. So I'm going to put everything away and then we will dive into the choosing portion of this video. Okay, so as always, don't judge my mess. So I always find the, the easiest way to do it is to start with eyeshadows and sort of build a look around that. So these are all my palettes. Um, so basically what I've been doing is I've been kind of rotating them backwards. So I've got the three that I used the last time sort of tucked in behind. And you can see like last time around I had these three palettes. So they're sort of at the back now. So kind of working from the front it doesn't mean that I'm necessarily going to pick the first one in the front. It just sort of gives me idea, an idea of which ones I haven't used in a while. Um, so I've got a couple of things here. Okay, we're gonna move that out of the way for a second. So I've got a couple of things here that I haven't tried. So one of my friends passed these e.l.f. palettes along to me um, because she didn't care for them. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep them or if I'm gonna pass them along. So this is the Mad for Mats. Oh my gosh, always trying to open this one-handed. This is the Mad for Mats um, palette. And then this one here, is what's it called prism eyeshadow palette so this is all sort of metallics so i thought this is sort of a nice kind of set of neutrals here um she didn't care for them i haven't decided if i'm gonna like them or not i did dive into i think this color and this color one day on just a soft makeup look and i thought they worked okay but i have a feeling getting into these darker tones they're gonna be really patchy but i still think there's a couple of nice like transition tones here so i'm gonna grab these for sure and then i was thinking that i might also grab the e.l.f. Opposite, Opposites Tract Palette. I'm thinking I'm gonna grab this 
And then I wanted to throw a few sort of singles. So that sort of gives me like lots of neutrals, lots of transition colors. And I thought I would throw like either some singles or like I've got these, like, I've got these TG quads, you know, that I haven't used in a while. Like, do we want to use some of these things? I'm just looking at like, what haven't I used in a long time? That's my MAC palette, just use that. That has a lot of the same neutrals that you can get in that palette. Mm, and then I've got so many eyeshadows, you guys, it's just insane. So I thought I might just grab a few like fun, like I've got this, I don't know if I've even ever used this, but this is from the Balm. This is their Foiled Again Shadow in Silver. I think I've used it like twice. So I thought I might throw that in. And then, um, what else? What else was I thinking? And then, like I've got this MAC one I've been trying to use up forever. You can see it's like a mess, but it's broken and I really like to use it up. So I think I'll throw that in and throw this purple one in again. And then I think I've got like, I mean, that seems excessive, doesn't it? I think we'll take this one out because it seems to have a lot of the same colors. So I think that's a good kind of mix of tones. And then should I grab like maybe a glitter? Like maybe one of my steel ones? Because I've got these, like I've got a white, I've got this sort of like lilac one. Gold, you know, I've got kitten, which I don't know that I've ever used. <laughs> I don't know. So let's throw in, let's throw in kitten and, um, let's throw in kitten and the one that goes with it, which would be kitten karma. So I think we'll throw those two in and maybe... Like maybe this one would be fun. This is like the special effects. These are actually like, I think meant to be for lips, but I actually use them on the eyes. I think they're more fun that way. Um, clearly one of my palettes is a mess. It's that damn Laura Lee palette. It's this one. This party animal palette is just like that yellow just gets all over everything and I've never used it. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. So I think I'll throw those things in that gives me like a nice little mixture because I've sort of been going back and forth like one day I feel like I'm more into cool tones the next day I feel like I'm more into warm tones so this kind of gives me a mix now the other thing that I have that my friend passed on to me was this highlight and contour palette from the bomb I haven't decided if I like this yet um the blush I feel like is maybe a little dark the bronzers, I don't know if they're like really the right tone for me. So I'd like to figure out whether I want to keep this or not. So I'm going to throw it in the rotation, but I'm also going to grab just in case I decide I don't like it. I'm going to throw the butter bronzer back in just in case. And then for a highlight, I mean, there's a couple of highlighters in here. I mean, they seem okay. I feel like this one's fine, but this one, I feel like it just feels grittier. So I've got, I think I've got like a nice champagne one there. So I think we'll throw the pretty vulgar one back in because it's a little bit more pinky. I'm really trying to use this one up, damn it. And then for blush, because I've got this one here, it's a little bit pink and it's a little bit dark for me. So I think I want to throw something else in that's a little bit more... Like, I think I definitely want to throw a warm toned one in and I think I'm going to throw in Awaken. I talked about putting this one in the last time and then I didn't. It's like a really fun, almost like corally color blush. So I think I'll throw that in and I think I'll toss the Essence Mosaic blush in. Oh, it's got a hair on it. So sorry. Um, just in case I decide that this one is too dark, just to give me something a little bit lighter to work with. So we've got shadows, we've got highlight, we've got bronzers, we've got blush. What am I missing? I think that's it other than lips. So the million dollar question is, what do we wanna do for lips? Damn you, Laura Lee, get back in the drawer. You're not invited to this party. Okay, so for lips, I think 
like looking at what we've got here, I've got some colors, but I've got mostly neutrals. So I want to throw in, hmm, I think I'd like to throw in a nice light cool tone this time in the Maybelline. So I'm going to put this one in. This is Dreamer. And I haven't done a red lip in a really long time. So I think the other Maybelline one I'm going to throw in is Pioneer. So that'll give me a red and a pink liquid lip. And then from there, um, oops, I was so into my hot pink lip today that I wanted to throw in Urban Decay Menace. It's like a hot pink matte formula. And I think I'm going to throw in, in the Smashbox uh, Always On Liquid Lipstick. I've got the color Stepping Out. It's just like a nice neutral uh, liquid lip. So I'm going to throw that in. trying to decide if I like this formula. This was from Beauty Creations and it's the Longwear Matte Lip Gloss and it's the color Kiss Me. The color is beautiful. I just haven't decided if I like the formula. I find it really dry. So I actually think I'm going to throw that in but also throw in a gloss that I could top it with. Actually let's throw the Tardis lip paint in again and I'll see if I like it that way. Um, so that kind of gives me a more, almost more like raspberry color. Gives me a neutral, a couple of liquid lipsticks, raspberry. Now I need something a little bit creamier because those are all like dry liquid lips, dry like liquid lip formulas. So I think I'll throw in Pretty Natural in Milani and Runway Pink in Elf. I've used this one a lot, obviously, but it's like a really nice, just kind of your lips, but better nude. And the last cream formula I'm going to throw in is the Be Legendary Lipstick in Honey. It's just like a more like warm toned nude. That gives me a few options for ones that are creamier. And then last but not least, I know this seems like a lot, you guys, but two weeks is a long time. So I've been on the fence about lip scents for a long time. I talked about that in a recent video. So I thought maybe I would throw in maybe like a couple of these just to see how I feel about them. Do I like these or do I actually hate them and I want to get rid of them? I can't decide until I start using them again. So I think I'll throw in Aussie Rose. I'll grab a lip gloss. So I think I'll throw in Aussie Rose and the B gloss and just kind of test it out again and see what I think about it. I think I'll just grab the one because there's a very good chance I won't use it at all. Okay, it feels like I have a lot this time, but I'm just gonna put it all in the basket. And like, I've got a couple of things in here that I'm testing, like the, um, the bomb palette and the two elf palettes. So like, there's a good chance some of this stuff won't end up getting used. So I wanted to give myself extra options this time. I'm gonna throw these little palettes in there, see how I feel about them. If I don't love them, I don't wanna keep them in my collection and there's only one way to find out. So, th so far they've just sat there and I really haven't touched them much. So that gives me um, some nice variety. And then I've got a couple of singles. I've got my TG quad with that fun teal color. If I want like a bright pop of color, I've got that as an option. I've got a couple of my steel glitters and an Urban Decay one. Gives me a little bit of an option to change up a look a little bit. Um, and I've got the bronzers and highlights and contours and blush in that bomb palette. But just in case, I've got my butter bronzer, my Essence Mosaic blush, my TG blush in Awaken, and the Pretty Vulgar. Every time I show that to you guys, it flashes. Um, the Pretty Vulgar highlight. So that gives me lots of options there for face just in case. I've also got a couple of singles here. I've got MAC. What is the name of this color? Literally I've had it so long that you can't read the back of it. So whatever this gold is, um, the dark purple I'm trying to use up and the silver in the balm. And then I've got some lip scents that I'm on, this, on the fence about. So I'm going to toss those in. Um, I've got Urban Decay and Menace. I've got Smashbox Honey, Runway Pink and Elf. Seems like so much. <laughs> I've got a couple of my Maybelline colors. 
a uh, liquid lip to try out and the Smashbox and the Milani. So I've got lots and lots of options there. My basket is very full. My hands are very covered in makeup as they always are in this process, but I've got a nice basket full of stuff to try out this time around to see how I feel. I do really feel like doing this um, shop my stash series. It's really helping me to get to know my makeup a little bit better. Um, I feel like I've had a lot of things in my collection for a while that I've been kind of on the fence about. I've been having a lot easier time decluttering things as I've had a chance to really not just use it one time and get like a first impression. I'm really getting a feel for what I like in a formula and what I don't like and what I'm willing to put up with and what I'm not. So I really, if you're not doing this and you have a big makeup collection, I highly recommend it. It's really changing my view of my makeup. Um, so I think we've done a pretty good job selecting together. I really love to hear from you guys in the comments if you see something in my collection that you're like, oh, I wish she'd put that in the basket. Comment below and let me know because I don't know what you guys want to see. I don't know what you like. Um, I don't know if there's anything in my collection that you've never seen before. Um, all that good stuff. So sound off in the comments. Let me know if there's anything you saw that you'd like to see me include in the next rotation. I think we've got a pretty good little selection here. So I'm looking forward to see what kind of looks I can create with this makeup. Make sure you're following me on social media. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.